when you are. Okay. <laughs> My name is Gabby, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm here with Austin! Hey. He's my BFF, and you've probably seen him before in some vlogs and some videos. So if you guys weren't aware, me and Austin actually work together, we're co-workers. No. Um, I'm the store manager and he's the assistant manager, along with Rachel. And he's here with me to do another video. Um, we actually did this same exact video last year, like really early last year, it's yeah. been a while. He's going to try to guess the book plots based off of the book covers and mm. titles. I have a whole stack of books here that are some like newer releases and some like not so newer releases. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you don't know any of them, anything know, about I mean, them. I read so much, so. Yeah, he's no. like a hardcore I'm reader. An avid reader. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first book is gonna be by Stephen King. It's a classic. I'm not sure if he knows the plot for this one, so we'll find out. So it's going uh -oh. to be Pet Cemetery. And I believe this is actually a movie version cover. It's not the original cover, but don't read the back. <laughs> so he's gonna be guessing this one here. It's he has a cat that looks exactly like this I cat. Do. Yeah. So Her maybe you shouldn't Ezra. read this book because it's terrifying. Oh, it says it. That's Stephen King's other book. Stephen King wrote it. Yes, dude. <laughs> so I'm guessing. His name is Church. His name is Church. Yeah. Okay, so Ezra, but the nickname Church, right? Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, like she gets like lost, you know. Mm -hmm. And then she gets like run over by a car or something sad, you know, like really traumatic, you know. But she's a ghost because her like her like kid or whatever was like super sad about it. She's like, I'm gonna find him a new cat. So it's like going. <laughs> <laughs> so the ghost is trying to find him like a new pet, right? So that way he's like happy again. Or is this like a horror? It's horror. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was thinking on the uppity up. Right? <laughs> Switching gears here. Mm. Um, okay, so actually the cat didn't like the kid, so now it's mm. haunting him, right? And so like, it'll like push like marbles off shelves and you know like <laughs> what normal cats do, but this doesn't go, so you can't see it. That's no, so this book is about this cat that it gets run over in the road. You were right about I was that. Right. Yeah, hey. the cat okay, gets okay. run over in the road, and then they bury it in the pet cemetery mm -hmm. where animals come back to life. Okay, okay. And so then this book is kind of about how the animal, like their cat, has kind of like come back to life and how it's like haunting them. Like, oh, but it's still there. Like, okay. it's like a zombie cat basically. It's not really like itself anymore. It's, oh, it's a spooky cat. It's now. A spooky. <laughs> yeah. So like it just like walks around and he's like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. I think I get points for that one. This <laughs> one is Summer Bird Blue. It's a very blue, summer bird blue, very summery cover. You can try to guess the genre first, cause that might like yeah, help that'll you help out. me out. Last time I was, <laughs> I was in the wrong genre. I was thinking Disney Channel, but <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> okay, okay. So there's two birds, so I guess it's a romance, cause there's like a bird and a flower and two birds. Mm -mm. No? I know you would think. What? I know. I'm just gonna say horror, cause you always read horror. No, I wish. What? <laughs> it's oh, like okay. a young adult contemporary book. So it's just like a coming of age, like that genre. What? <laughs> I'm not, I, <laughs> like, okay, so contemporary. Young adult contemporary. So it takes place in contemporary times. It's just like a coming of age story. It's like okay. it could happen in today's world. So it's not like a romance life. or anything? It's not a romance, no. No. Is there romance in it? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. So it's like what, talking about like a kid trying to like work his way through McDonald's to get a degree? <laughs> so I'm gonna guess it's a girl who's like super smart, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not even on the right track. You're already laughing. Oh, you're on the okay. right track. Am I? I'm trying to think here. Does it have any relation to the birds? The birds or the flowers? It has like something to do with it kind of, but it's not like obvious. It's not obvious? Mm -mm. Is it a nickname like Sparrow or something? No. <laughs> I don't know. This is a hard one. This is, this is impossible. Okay, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna really shoot for the moon here. Yeah, so I'm, go I'm gonna for say, it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this girl is like doing like okay. So she was a really smart girl, but then she got so smart she like stole money like online or something like that. Like she hacked something, right? Mm -hmm. So then she like got in trouble, and so then she had to like do um, community service or something. Mm -hmm. And when she worked at like a bird like um, oh what are those calls where you like <laughs> you did this too um. Oh no! What's you mean called? like volunteering at the bird shelter? Yeah, place? the like bird shelter or whatever it is. Yeah, but like mm. so that's so then she like you know eventually grows up you know around birds and then <laughs> she gets a bird. That's my guess. Wow, yeah. that was very wrong. <laughs> it's about a young girl is in mm -hmm. high school, so you got that. Okay. Um, her sister dies in a car accident, 
and right before she died, they wrote this song together called Summer Bird Blue. Oh, okay. And they're okay. both like songwriters, like they used to write songs together. And then this is kind of about the summer that she has to go through alone after her sister just died. Oh, okay. So okay. it's sad. Mm -hmm. I thought blue, it would be like, you can pick up like blues. I love the color blue though. I know, but blue is usually like sad. You know, what? people like uh -huh. the blues, like people uh -huh. think blue is sad. The blues, yeah, like dude. the music is like good. Yeah, but it's sad. <laughs> All right, this next one is Head Over Heels. I haven't actually read this one yet, but I know what it's about. So, <laughs> so you're guessing like me? No! Yeah. Okay, okay. This one's genre is probably pretty obvious. I like how she's a redhead. That's that's awesome. I, I know, that. right? <laughs> I, that fits. The rip. She's determined to stick the landing. Mm -hmm. Is she like a gymnast? I'm gonna guess she's a gymnast. Oh, hey! <laughs> it's a romance. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, so it's a romance about this girl who's a gymnast, right? Mm -hmm. And there's this guy who's... Uh, hmm. I don't want to say it's like the coach because that'd be kind of weird. Um. <laughs> it's the coach. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to guess she has like an accent or something gets hurt, right? And then it's going to be like her coming back like a, like a rocky thing. Have you read this book? No, I, I got it right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow, good That's job awesome. marketing team. This is like actually the book right there. No way. You just okay. guessed the plot. Whoa. Heck yeah. Perfect. I didn't, I didn't think you'd actually get one like that on the nose. Dang. Wow. This next one I haven't read either, but I have to show you this cover because I thought you would love this. It's Real Men Knit. <laughs> oh. Because Austin knits. I do knit. I crochet. <laughs> crochet. Yeah. Hmm. There's a heart here, so it's a romance, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to guess it's a kid, like a guy in high school. Mm -hmm. High school or early college, like a younger dude. Mm -hmm. And he likes this girl, but there's like, she's dating this dude who's like a very sporty guy. Mm -hmm. And so then he's like trying to win her over and he like crochets her heart. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then he wins. Wow. Yeah. All I know is it's about this guy mm -hmm. who has like three brothers and they were all like in foster care kind of growing up. And then this woman like adopted them all and she okay. owns this like knitting shop. And then she passes away like shortly after that. And then it's kind of about how the brothers like take over the knitting shop and then one of them starts to like develop a romance. I don't know. Okay. It's like men knitting in their mom's shop. <laughs> All right, the next book is going to be He Started It by Samantha Downing. This cover is really cool, I think. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> this is cool. This reminds me of, um, who, who's the girl that sings the, the song about like slashing tires? Oh, like Carrie Underwood? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Before he cheats. Yeah, yes, yes. that sounds a bop. <laughs> well, guess the genre first. Okay, so the opposite of a romance. Mm-hmm. Okay, Which I don't know what, what I, mean. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, breakup? No. Well, that's pretty opposite to me. <laughs> like, it's like a thriller, okay? Thriller, so mystery. Like, I'm gonna guess, she's holding a shovel, so I've gotta make something, right? So I'm, I'm, mm. is that symbolic, you know? <laughs> like, does that mean it's like a grave digger kind of thing, you know? Mm, mm. Who knows? <laughs> so I'm gonna guess that her husband or boyfriend at the time, I'm gonna guess they were like criminals of some sort. Like they were like some high class, like fraud kind of stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna guess that he like screwed her over out of like a bunch of money for some mm -hmm. reason, you know? And then this is like her quest going back and like getting out of him, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Like she's got like the shovel, so she's like, she can like beat up that car with the shovel. Mm -hmm. I think that's what's gonna happen. Interesting. Yeah. That's a good guess. Really? Yeah. Was it close? It's, <laughs> it's about these like, three siblings. Mm -hmm. This book is very Knives Out, actually, to me. Oh, what? It's oh, like, yeah, it's it. kind of like, there's these three siblings mm -hmm. and they're inheriting their, or they're getting their grandpa's inheritance money, but in order to get the inheritance money, they need to go on this road trip that they okay. went on when they were kids. Like, they're doing like a repeat mm -hmm. of the road trip when they were kids, okay. but then this time while they're on the road, there's like somebody following them and there's like some weird shit going on uh -oh. and it's like Wait, intense. What? All right, next book is Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. Eight Perfect Murders. This genre should be pretty easy to guess, uh, I would think. I'm gonna guess it's romance. <laughs> no. <laughs> Murder, obviously, who um, who's like trying to get it to like, make it look like the crimes were like impossible in some way. I'm just repeating the word basically. <laughs> but like, it's like, you know that riddle that's like, um, the guy like um there's like a guy who like hung himself and there's like a pot of water under him and it's like always standing on a block of ice kind of thing where they like oh like how did that even happen you know like how did he get mm -hmm. up there kind of thing you know mm -hmm. i'm gonna guess it's something like that where this guy comes up with super creative ways that like just tricks the police department they're like what is that even happening right now mm. it's about this guy uh -huh. who he writes a list of the eight perfect murders in fiction like in books, like okay. the best murders that he's ever read about in books, in okay. crime fiction. And then there's a serial killer who like 
starts to go through that list and tries to like copy each of the eight really? murders. So like he's going through. Okay, so he's and, getting framed. Yeah, so like okay. the guy's getting framed who wrote the blog post, mm -hmm. but then like it's also like the police are trying to track down the serial killer who mm -hmm. committed these eight perfect murders oh, in real life. Okay. Next book is going to be Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This one is a different genre for me, so different it's genre. not what I typically Whoa. read. <laughs> it's not a thriller, romance, or horror, okay? It's like outside of my typical genres, I guess. <laughs> like, what other genres are I, know, there? I, like, I don't even know what else there is. Hmm. Think of like, what's the genre of like Harry Potter? You hate wizards, so you wouldn't read a wizard. <laughs> it's not wizards. You hate wizards. Oh my god. Yeah. But what genre is Harry Potter? Uh. <laughs> this is pointless. <laughs> It's fiction. Fantasy. Oh, <laughs> fantasy. Okay, okay. <laughs> fantasy sci-fi ish. Yeah, yeah. Ish. By the way, Gabby will never read a book that has wizards ever. <laughs> oh my God. Like it's it's a personal stigma that I, just hates wizards. I don't want to read about wizards. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, don't. I know. Like Harry Potter, everything just hates wizards. If it's a wizard, then literally like, werewolves. It's just fantasy. Like, what, wolves, fantasy. Vampires, I don't you care. don't care. But like. I don't care. <laughs> but this one, okay. it's more sci-fi than fantasy, but it has some fantasy elements. So it's elements. like futuristic? Yes. Oh, okay, see, I'm getting hints. <laughs> I'm just gonna really shoot in the dark here. Yeah, so, go. <laughs> I'm gonna say that this is like a time-traveling scythe, right? Mm. And it's gonna be this person that's trying to like stop like horrible events from happening, like World War II, like the Holocaust, stuff like that. I think he's like a time traveler. He's gonna try and like stop these things, but then he has to like deal with the repercussions of like, oh, now this didn't happen, so then this happened and stuff like that, you know? That's what I'm gonna guess. You just described 112263 by Stephen King. <laughs> really? Yeah. Right. The scythes are like, well, because this book takes place in the way, way, way future, like okay. hundreds of years into the future. And they live in a world where everyone is now immortal, like nobody okay. can die. Mm -hmm. And so it's causing a problem of overpopulation and like all these different things, like resources. So these people called scythes are trained to kill at least one person like their mission to like keep the population okay yeah. so like they are responsible for like going out and murdering people and it's like wow. random like it's just random you could just like That's one day just wake up and be like fuck i'm gonna die today <laughs> next up <laughs> is gonna be the hole by hi young pyun and have you read misery by stephen king or do you know anything about it no okay Wait, great then. unless i see a cover maybe <laughs> A Korean take on misery. Oh, hey, there we go. That's a that helps me out a little bit. Yeah, so, but you don't know what misery is. <laughs> I don't know who it is. No, you don't know what it is. I'm, I mean, I right? think I know what the word misery means. <laughs> I know, but it's saying the book by Stephen King, Misery. Oh, yeah. I thought it was in the literal <laughs> sense, like it was like a Korean tale on like a, like sorrow and stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Well, there we go. Okay, sweet. So I'm gonna guess is there there's a tree in the sky. I'm okay. I'm gonna guess that this is a family that like their like grandpa or dad or something passed away because of um like his lungs were really bad or something and there was like pollution and mm -hmm. so that's why there's like the sky and the tree because there was like you know like they didn't have either of these you know like, it was all like gross mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna guess that it was their like their family trying to like deal with the fact that like literally all around them is like. Like corporations that like basically killed their dad, you know, that were like mm. polluting constantly. That's all my guess. That's interesting. Is that is that it? No, this oh. is a horror book. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. I should have guessed the genre. Okay. Yeah, because Misery by Stephen mm -hmm. King is a horror book. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But this well, book is <laughs> this book is about how this guy and his mm -hmm. wife get into a car accident. Okay. The wife dies. Oh. Ouch. And then this is about how he has to recover mm -hmm. with the mother-in-law's help, which is her mom. And oh, so it's kind okay. of about how he is like in a full body, like he needs full care because he's like nearly dead himself. Oh really? Okay. And okay. then it's kind of about how the mother-in-law is like slowly like losing her mind because she like obviously just lost her daughter. Right. So like her care of him isn't like the best, you know? Uh -oh. So it's like scary for him. It's kind of this like horror novel that describes like grief and how awful mm -hmm. it is to go through something like that. But okay. also it's called The Hole because she's like digging out the garden that they had built together mm -hmm. because she's like missing her daughter. Mm -hmm. and she might be wanting to use the hole for something. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's all I can say. The next one is gonna be In Five Years by Rebecca Surly. Is it romance? Yeah, it's partially romance, yeah. Partially? Mm -hmm. What's the other partial? Partially romance, partially like contemporary, and also partially like a tiny bit sci-fi. Tiny bit sci-fi? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, when you say contemporary, it makes me think of Disney World every time. Like, <laughs> what? They have a hotel there called the Contemporary. Why? Oh, huh? the Contemporary. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, they do. Why? It's crazy. It's like this one that's like, <laughs> and there's like a monorail that goes through the middle. Oh it's really God. cool. Yeah. It's what like the super heck? fancy. It's bougie. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
off track. <laughs> well, obviously New York is not actually living. So I'm gonna guess that it's New York from five years from now. I'm gonna guess it's like, Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's I'm gonna guess it's a lady who's like trying to find some, like a guy you know mm -hmm. or like but like it's in five years right so like there's not a whole lot of things that are face to face it's gonna be like all kind of like online or something it's gonna be going like they only see each other like online and then they like meet in person and it's like <laughs> not what they expected that's all I guess hmm I mean I'd want to read that oh you'd want to yeah <laughs> I should write books I know you have all <laughs> these great ideas <laughs> It does take place in New York, so mm -hmm. you're right about that. Mm -hmm. um, the bit of sci-fi is kind of like a time travel thing, which you oh, kind what? of work. I missed it. Yeah, you <laughs> that were, was the book. You were close, but um, it's about this girl who like wakes up in 2025, like mm -hmm. five years into the future, yeah. and she's well, okay, in her present day life in 2020, mm -hmm. she like is recently engaged, and she's okay. like living in Manhattan, and she's like super happy, and then she one night she wakes up in 2025 like randomly, and then she's with a different guy living in Brooklyn, and she's like what the heck like what yeah. is this like she doesn't know if it's a dream or if it's like her future or what mm -hmm. and then the next day she just wakes up back in her life in 2020 and then it's yeah. kind of about how she's trying to figure out what the fuck <laughs> just happened yeah. okay next book is survivor song by paula tremblay so it's a horror yes yeah and so there's a little i think is that a fox or is that a coyote i know i, I can't tell. i think that's a coyote so yeah. it's not it's not relevant to the book not super no. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a person that, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Is that a floating thing? <laughs> There's something no, floating I... <laughs> behind this guy. Okay. I'm gonna guess that this guy was driving alone and mm -hmm. down like this freeway. And I'm gonna guess that his car broke down. And I'm gonna <laughs> guess that this is like his like trying to survive. Mm -hmm. And he's seeing like, like either like his mom sang or his like dad sang or something when he was a kid. Like the song, you know? Mm -hmm. And so then he like continues to sing the song like every night or something. That way he doesn't get like go crazy or anything he's like i need to tie something to my past life you know like trying to get out of here did i get it that would have been more interesting than what oh, really? this book actually is <laughs> well this book it has the coolest premise but it has the biggest like let down mm. yeah because it's a cool ass apocalyptic kind of book oh, it's okay. about this virus that starts spreading around uh -oh. by saliva mm. And it has an, <laughs> it has a uh -oh. one hour incubation period. So if you oh, like get the like if you get it, yeah. you literally start showing symptoms within one hour. Like oh, you that's know. Not bad, then. Yeah, but it's bad because like this virus causes you to like act like you have rabies, but like crazy. It makes you bite people Dude. and like infect people. Ah. So it's like it's bad news. Yeah. Next one mm -hmm. is gonna be Mexican Gothic mm -hmm. by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Okay. And this one, I mean, I'm sure you can guess the genre as well. Did they break up? No! <laughs> what? I don't know, just holding You don't know what the word gothic means? Well, it's sad. No. No? No. What does that mean? It's like horror. I don't think goth- like, if- hmm. Gothic is a genre of horror. Is it? Gothic horror. You know, it's actually pretty funny. I just saw you post about this, too. Really? Yeah, I actually did. I was like, I was like super bored. I never go on like you a You didn't read the description, and... right? No, I- <laughs> There's a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> too many words. Too many words. I was like, oh, that's about Not me. much of a reader. <laughs> holding some flowers but the flowers are like healthy right so like mm -hmm. hmm. i feel like that's symbolic of something i'm gonna guess that she recently had a breakup or something like that or at her boyfriend cheated on her with her best friend or something like that and so that made her like super like cynical you know mm -hmm. i'm gonna guess that she was like pretending to be like okay with it. like i'm glad you guys are happy but like she's gonna like beat him up with these flowers right? like, there's like a <laughs> weapon or something and she's like it's like a crime kind of thing but like like if there's no cops involved you know it's just like her like you know being cynical and then eventually like <laughs> <laughs> oh wow i like the mm. yeah <laughs> um yeah well this one's um about this girl <laughs> he's like who... no it takes place in 1950s in Mexico. Okay. And it's kind of about how she finds out that her cousin mm -hmm. is like going off the rails kind of crazy. Okay. Because she's in this house that's kind of like low-key haunted. And she's okay. saying that the walls are like talking to her and like there's some weird shit happening. What? And they don't know if her cousin is like crazy or they don't know if the house is like haunted. Oh, okay. So it's kind of about her going to the house and like trying to figure out what's going on there. The next book is going to be On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, a romance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> once I read the title, it's like, it's like one of those survival things, like the popular thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to guess that this is like a couple that went to an island, right? Mm -hmm. And then like, I was like, because they were like, like having a whole rough patch, you know? And they were like, oh, let's just go on vacation. We'll like, you know, like I sort it out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, is it just romance? There's nothing else. There's something else too. 
I'm gonna assume it's crime then. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that this girl went on a vacation with her husband. Her husband was like a piece of garbage person, like he was a bad guy, you know? And mm -hmm. they were gonna like work out the issues, you know? Mm -hmm. But then she ends up offing him again, like, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Again. Why is every theory like they fucking kill them? <laughs> well, he's, you're, most you're saying is like horror and stuff. Oh my That's God. my assumption now. <laughs> She offs the husband, right? Mm -hmm. But then the cop is like a really cool guy, right? And is like, <laughs> I'm gonna guess she falls in love with the cop, right? Oh. And the cop has to deal with the fact that like, she eventually tells him obviously that she like, you know, killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the cop's like dealing with like, oh my God, I'm like married to a murderer. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. This one's about this woman mm -hmm. who is like a little bit older. She's okay. like in her twenties okay. and then she is tutoring this mm -hmm. young boy who's like 16 uh -oh. and they are flying in a plane mm -hmm. when their plane crashes and they're oh, okay. the only two survivors on this oh, island okay. and then it's kind of about how they're stuck on this island for like five years and then a romance starts to develop between them even though they're like 10 years apart but no romance obviously happens until he's like 18 like age of consent <laughs> you know <laughs> But, you gotta be on yeah, the island, yeah. Next one is gonna be Bunny by Mona Awad. I'm so curious to guess what genre you think this is because when I asked my mom and dad, I got very different responses from both of them. Okay, see, this is kind of confusing in my mind because <laughs> it's written in lipstick. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing it's like a coming of age thing that you said before, like the, the, um, what'd you say? Like, <laughs> no, back it up. Is it like Pet Cemetery? This is the bunny? <laughs> like, this is the. Oh, I'm onto something. Okay, okay. I'm gonna guess it was these kids, like rabbit, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna guess that that rabbit, like, I don't want to say it died. I'm gonna say it got possessed. I'm gonna say there's a ghost in the house and it got possessed, right? And uh -huh. so it's like the bunny, like trying to beat up these kids, kind of, you know. And like they're like, one of them also has to be a team. Uh, that's all. I'm, I'm, this is like crayon almost though. Although I mean, I get <laughs> it's just a book, but. <laughs> I'm gonna guess, yeah, I'm gonna guess it's like a younger kid and it's like the parents being like, what's wrong with this bunny? And then the, mm. I'm gonna guess the bunny actually gets one of the kids, but not the other ones. <laughs> Damn. Did I get it? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, it is horror, okay. which I don't think you would assume from looking up this cover, but, yeah. um, but uh, I can't really explain this book without spoiling. So if you haven't read this, skip ahead to when I'm not holding this up anymore. <laughs> but uh, so okay. this book's basically about these girls that are mm -hmm. at this college and okay. There's kind of like this cult almost like this group of girls that like it's like these four girls They all call each other bunny and they're like really weird kind okay. of like they they have pet names for each other okay. And then they do these like weird things at nighttime during their cult They like invite this main character Samantha into their cult mm -hmm. kind of and then she finds out that they're turning men into bunnies Dang sounds like an upgrade <laughs> <laughs> Creating like half man half bunnies they're oh, really whoa. creepy. Okay, so they're not like cute bunnies. No. <laughs> so then why is this one like adorable? People mm. describe this as Mean Girls, but if it was written by Stephen King on acid. <laughs> because that's what this is. Oh, it's like okay. weird shit, yeah, like crazy makes shit. Sense. This next one is Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chabotsky. It's a horror. Yes. Um, I'm gonna guess that it's like a kid who obviously like goes in this treehouse and like has like an imaginary friend, but it's actually like a ghost, right? Or like not like a ghost, but like haunted in that way you know so he doesn't like get possessed but it's like kind of demonic in that way mm. i'm gonna guess that like it convinces him to like mess up the school and like um you know like maybe like do like weird stuff you know like um if he finds like a dead rabbit or something really like weird you know he'll like bury it and like comes back to life you know he's got like that mm. weird power i'm gonna guess that mm -hmm. yeah i mean you're on to something kind okay. of like okay. it does follow this like seven-year-old boy mm -hmm. who he goes missing in the woods for like oh, okay. a few days and then when he comes back He's like really, really smart and like really, really different. And like, mm -hmm. he's not the same kid that like he was when he went way? in. No, like smart, like his level of education is like, like IQ so high. Like he's okay. a genius okay. now. He starts having these like fevers and like mm -hmm. his body is telling him to go back to the tree house. Like mm -hmm. he can't function in the real world anymore unless yeah. he's like going to the tree house. Okay. All right. The next book is going to be the Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. Heck yeah. Yeah. Genre. I'm sure it's easy to guess there. Uh, it's in the title. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's a romance, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess it's these two guys that like start a book club and then they end up like falling for each other and then 
Yeah, I'm on to something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and then what else? Hmm. There, is there like a twist? Like, is there like a like a something like hefty that happens or not really? Mm. Not really. So it's just it's, that's pretty much it. It's, it's like, just a straightforward romance. Yeah. Okay, so they just fall for each other. I'm guessing. <laughs> um, no, I wish this oh, is a darn. male female romance. Oh man. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> So it's about this guy who's a major league baseball player oh, and okay. him and his wife are like on the brink of divorce because she's just like, I'm not happy anymore. You're not mm -hmm. the same. Like you don't even care about mm -hmm. romance or anything about me. And then he's like, what the fuck? So then his friends invite him to be in their bromance book club where a bunch of these guys read romance books together so that they can like try to like understand their like oh. wife's emotions better and wow. like yeah next one is the worst best man by mia sosa because so, i guessed the plot that was like exactly like this this is <laughs> yeah. what my guess is gonna i think i'm just honestly gonna copy and paste that one mm. <laughs> i'm gonna guess that this is like this like lady is supposed to marry that guy right mm -hmm. and instead of the police officer it's gonna be like the best man right <laughs> <laughs> why is there always a police officer <laughs> no it wasn't as in the in the old one, the, oh, the, with right, the island, remember right. how she like off the guy and then there's oh, the cop. Right. I'm gonna guess instead of a cop, there's like the best man, mm -hmm. you know. And so I think the the original husband's gonna be kind of like a bad guy again, you know. Mm. I'm gonna guess like the best man's gonna be like a better dude, you know. And he's gonna be like, man, you treat her like garbage, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Yes. I'm way wow. wrong, but yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the about time? um. No. no. I mean, <laughs> you read closer? about like the husband ends up being a douchebag, so See, he oh. leaves her on the wedding day, like in okay. her dress. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, ready he just go. like bounces. Yeah, mm -hmm. ready to go. And then it's kind of about her developing a romance with the best man years later. So it's like years, oh, right. <laughs> years later. Heck? Next one is going to be The Troop by Nick Cutter. So it's a horror? Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's a Stephen King blurb on there. Blurb. What's blurb. It? What is a blurb? A blurb is like a quote that they use on book covers from other authors. Oh, oh. hey, so Stephen <laughs> King liked it. That's what it means. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So the troop. There's no evidence of this, but I'm gonna say that a plane crashed on an island, right? And it was in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess that this was like an island that had some significance in World War II. So there was like mm. a, like a soldier who was like kind of like killed there or something in like a brutal way or some something like that. And so his like soul, like, you know, like, um, still there. Yeah. It's still there, <laughs> kind of like he patrols it. Yeah. Oh. And so it's going to be like kind of how like they're somehow like a family or someone ended up on this island and they're like, what the fuck is going on with this, with this island? Interesting. Is that good? Not even close. <laughs> I'm right about there is an island. There is an island. Well, this is the cover says there's an island. I know, but what is the troop then in your theory? The the soldier that died. No, so okay. it's actually a troop of mm. boys. Like okay. they're like boy scouts. Oh, kind of okay, boys. okay. They're Makes a troop sense. of boys, and they're mm. on this island during their like camping trip, whatever, mm. with their boy scouts. And then this man like pulls up on a boat onto the island, and mm. he's like, "I'm so hungry, like feed me." And he starts like eating the dirt, like while he's like walking up to them, like he's crazy. What the heck? Okay. And then it's kind of about how um, this man might have something that starts spreading, and something that starts spreading, like. Like Corona? <laughs> no. <laughs> Something way worse than way Corona. Worse. Way worse. They're doomed. Alright, next one is gonna be Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Aaron Hicks. This one is a graphic novel, so it looks like a comic. Yeah, that's that's kind of, it's kinda it like yeah, no. a graphic novel <laughs> comic okay. kind of thing. Graphic novel? They input a graphic. Mm hmm Graphic novel just means there's pictures. Graphics like Oh, yeah, like I think graphics. the graphic is in like PG, like 13, no. like, <laughs> like this is graphic. sometimes skip a page. Adult content. <laughs> uh, this guy has four stars and she has zero. What does that mean? Is that like a lieutenant, like in the army? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're soldiers? They're pumpkin soldiers. No. More like employees. Well, yeah, but like what does four stars mean? Like he's a four star employee? <laughs> <laughs> no. I would guess that she owns like a farm or her family owns a farm and it's this guy who like applies there or something like that and just starts working there. And I'm gonna say that they fall in love with pumpkins. Not really, but oh. kind of close. What? It's like these two teens who have worked mm -hmm. at the pumpkin patch like every year of high school. Mm -hmm. And then this is like following them during their senior year of high school. It's like their last time working at the pumpkin patch together. Okay. And then it's like a romance about how they're like falling in love with the pumpkin patch. Oh. <laughs> and it's super soft and super cute and it's like really colorful. Aww. Mm. All right, the next one is gonna be Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. No. Daisy Jones and the Six. Yeah. Hmm. What does that sound like? I mean, it kind of sounds like an old Western. It's old. It's not Western. Not Western, no. but it's like older? It's like historical kind of. How far back? Do I have to like call Josh? <laughs> Think like 60s, maybe 70s times. Okay. 
More I'm, 70s. Though. And the six, is it like a crime or no? <laughs> no. No, I yeah. figured like six is in like a like the Suicide Squad. squad. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> hey. Okay, so like six is in a squad or anything. No. No. Okay. I mean, it's a squad of sorts, but not like criminals. Like. Well, like it's like a like a squad of some people. It's a group of people. Okay, I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with like something super plain. I'm gonna say that it's just like a girl who's like talking about her life in the '60s and how like there was like stigmas that were like. You know, like you're gonna be like the like in the house, you know, like taking care of the kids and stuff, and it's like her kind of going against the grain, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean, it is about a girl going against the grain, okay. but it's um this band called Daisy Jones and the Six, okay. And so they're like a band that's in the '70s. It's mm -hmm. very like Fleetwood Mac kind of vibes, okay. writing songs with the band and like the behind the scenes of the band yeah. and like all the drama because they only recorded one album together oh, and really? then they broke up. And so oh. this is kind of like supposed to be like interviews with the band and like learning about this band's history. Oh, that doesn't okay, actually okay. exist, but <laughs> I was about to ask. Like, that seems like it would happen. I know you would think like right. this is like a real thing. Like mm -hmm. some people like Google like who is who's Daisy Jones in the <laughs> six. All right, next one is gonna be The Wives by Taryn Fisher. Okay, <laughs> The Wives. Mm -hmm. So is it like a horror or? It's like a thriller. A thriller. Mm hmm. I'm gonna guess it starts with one lady. So like one lady figures out that her husband, she like has a suspicion that he might be cheating or something like when he like goes to his day job, he's like not actually working. Or I'm gonna guess that she figured out that he's like maybe having an affair. And so she reaches out to like one of them and then she like figures out that like, oh my God, there's one other one. Like, you know, she like figures out that there's like more than one. So they like literally like, find like all of his mistresses and then they all gang up and like beat him up. <laughs> it's kind of like that, but mm -hmm. it's about this guy who has this wife and mm -hmm. she knows that he has two other wives. Okay. And they're all like okay Wait, with it. Wives or like? Like he has three wives, this guy. And she's like conscious of that. Yeah, she like knows. Huh. Like they're all, they all know. Well, okay. She's never met these other women. Mm -hmm. She can never reach out or talk to these other women because they have rules. But he <laughs> spends one day of the week with her. My gosh. And that's it. One day? Yeah, she only gets him one day of the week on Thursdays. The so ending is actually really element. bad. It's terrible. It's oh, so what? bad. Yeah, oh, it's like boo. so disappointing. That was such a hype. Next up, we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna, I mean, it seems self-explanatory from the cover, but it never is, you know? <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna guess that it's, like, this dude and this girl who, like, always come to the beach and read together, like, on the weekends or whatever days they have off or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna be about, like, how, like, one day he's like, oh, she's reading that book, and he, like, finds that book and, like, reads it or something like that, so that way they have something to talk about, and it's, like, oh. romance in that way. And then they, like... That's how they like find each other, you know? Wow. Well, That's my guess. <laughs> That's super um simplistic and cute. Is that, is that like a bad thing? I can't tell if that was no. <laughs> That's very simple thought. <laughs> It's about these two writers, mm -hmm. um, and so they live across the beach from each other. So they're like- What, they're... like there's two sides of the beach? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually not a beach. It's more like a lake. Beach. Okay. So they live on the lake. This has a beach. I know, it's a bunch of lies. <laughs> Okay. They live on opposite sides of the lake. Mm -hmm. They're both writers. Mm -hmm. And then he kind of makes fun of her because she's a romance writer. And he's oh, like, romance is not even ouch. valid. And then he's wow. like a literary fiction writer. So he's like prestigious and like mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. And so then she's like, well, if you think it's so easy, then why don't you write it, bitch? Okay. And he's like, oh yeah. Like if you think literary fiction so hard, then why don't you write it, bitch? Mm -hmm. And then they swap genres <laughs> yeah. for the summer and try to write each other's really? genres. And they make a pact that whoever sells their book first wins in the other genre. Sells their book first? Yeah. So like you have to write it fast. Yeah, like they're trying to write it over the summer and then whoever like sells their book first that is not in their typical genre. Wouldn't it mean like wouldn't it be like better to like sell like whoever sells more copies? Like whoever gets the approval like gets the book sold first. I mean that's kinda dope because they both have beach houses. So like <laughs> right? they have like the same like you know yeah, that's bougie. pretty dope. Yeah exactly. Can't relate but <laughs> bougie. <laughs> we are down to the last two books. Alright this one is The Guest List by Lucy Folly. Oh, what's that one? In San Francisco, the prison. Oh, I know. It kind of looks like Alcatraz. It's not. It's not, though. No. Oh, okay. These people are having, like, a party, right? Mm -hmm. And then there was a murder at this party, right? And so then the police are trying to, like, look in to see who, like, committed the murder, like, who was there that night. And they were, like, mm -hmm. looking over the guest list, right? Mm -hmm. And then they keep finding out that, like, people that, like, were there, like, didn't, like, put their name on the guest list, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like, oh, this person was there and they didn't, like, whatever, you know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. that, I'm gonna guess that. 
You're on to something. Really? You're close. No way. Eh? But it's not a party, it's a wedding. Oh, okay, okay. And so the guest list mm -hmm. is like the bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding oh, player, bridesmaid. Okay. But you're right, like somebody was murdered, mm -hmm. but you don't know who at the beginning. Right. So in this book, you're trying <laughs> to figure out who got murdered, mm -hmm. and then once you do find out, it's like, well, then who did it? Right. <laughs> What's up, my guy? What's up? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, looks like we're on tank duty for the rest of this video, but. <laughs> But yeah, you were pretty close. Um, yeah. There's a guest list. There's murder. Okay. It's on an island. Yeah. In Ireland. In Ireland? Yeah. I love Ireland. Yeah. I've never been, but I want to go. That's like right. It's super first cool. on the list. It's like a spooky island in Ireland. Oh, it's spooky. Well, it's very atmospheric. It's like stormy and rainy. Oh, all the time. Like, okay, makes sense. Scary. The last one. Was this one like the like the most anticipated or something? Like no, no, it's, it's just last. Okay. <laughs> all right, this is one to watch by Kate Stamen London. Mm -hmm. Is it a romance? Mm, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess that it's this lady who's like, obviously she's gonna propose on camera. You know, like mm. I feel like that's kind of a given. I don't know if that's the ending or if that's the beginning. That's what I'm trying to decide. Like, mm. does it start with that and then like the story like is like her life like in her wedding like kind of like with like like basically being famous and like getting married kind of thing, mm -hmm. or is that like the ending like where it's like you know like. Like this is what like happens and it like doesn't happen or something like that. It's like a twist. You know? Um, you're kind of close, okay. but like not really. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of but, like not at all, you know. But it's like it's kind of like the show The Bachelorette. So it's like okay. she is gonna be the first plus size woman mm -hmm. to be the Bachelorette kind of thing. Um, but it's a show called The Main Squeeze, but it's kind of like The Bachelorette, basically. It's basically the same thing. It's kind of nasty. And so it's about her, like, dating all of these guys on the show, and then it's, like, her proposing at the end of the show kind of thing. Oh. It's, like, it's just like The Bachelorette, but it's cool because she's going to be the first plus-size woman, which, mm -hmm. like, if you've ever seen The Bachelorette, like, they never have any, right. like, it's, you know, yeah. it's, like, only skinny people, basically. Yeah. So it's kind of, like, a cool take on that. It's, yeah. like, different representation. There's, like, a whole bunch of different, like, even the guys in this book are also very diverse. But, uh, Did yeah. you actually read that one? I did. You did? Did you like it? It's super cute. What's yeah. the rating? Uh, four stars. Four stars? <laughs> out of ten or five? Out of five. <laughs> All right, well, that was the um, judging books by their cover, guessing book plots. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. <laughs> but, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And please let me know if you'd like to see Austin and more videos. Let me know that as well. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously other video ideas that we can do. But if you have any other cool ideas that we could both do, then like yeah. let us know. Because that would be cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye. Bye. Oh, you look like you're guessing. <laughs> I look like I'm guessing. You look like you're like, hmm, like so you're guessing. Like, I go like, oh. <laughs> I don't think she's related to anyone. Okay, anyway, mm. yeah. Side note, hold this kid. You should watch it. Mm. Is this Stephen King? Yes. <laughs> That's not what I thought he looked like. <laughs> what did you think he looked like? I don't know. He's this kind of looks man. like Stephen Hawking's. What? <laughs> and. So why can't they work the pumpkin patch after that? Because they're going to college. Why going can't they just stay in the state? Across the country. Wait, so they're going across the country? They're like going to different schools across the country. That seems like a not super good idea. <laughs> that's what a lot of people do. Not like people like us, but you know, that's what a lot of like people do. I know, but like... I mean, I, I could never. I mean, that seems hard. It is hard, I'm sure. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well, I'm not up to date on these things, you know. I'm it is from 1987. <laughs> He's that old? Yes! What? When did he write it? In the 80s. In the 80s? His first book came out in the 70s. Wait, how old is he? He doesn't. He looks like he's in his 40s. Oh my god, no. He's like 60 or 70 maybe. Wow. I don't know. Kudos, Stephen King. You look excellent. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they can like see each other from their patios too. They're like, look at I me writing. I feel like that's kind of weird, not yeah, gonna it's, lie. Yeah, it's a little weird. That is a kind of I didn't strange. love it. You didn't? No. No? It was like semi-okay? It was like, okay. I always know what's going on, so I'm never confused. Oh, right. <laughs> Obviously. So you've never felt this before. No, this basically. is new to me. Mm. So like, what's, what's like the ending? Like, is it just like, that's the know. story? <laughs> I don't really like rabbits too much. We had one and it bit my side. <laughs> oh so my god. I don't like rabbits. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. That's not a spoiler. It's don't not. worry about it. <laughs> So I wasn't right. <laughs> that in itself is a spoiler though, because oh everyone knows that's God. not what it's about. <laughs>